And we're back with more Untitled Goose Game. Press X to honk. <laughs> I have to introduce myself somehow. Wait, is this reset? Um, I mean, it reset, but the objectives aren't. So I can just go about my way then. Yeah, I finally figured out where I went wrong. And it's actually kind of simple. Hello. I'm done tormenting you, at least temporarily. See, she puts up a no goose sign as well, which also irritates me, so I'm just gonna take this with me. But it creates this neat little hole in her fence. I guess that'll do. So this is where I need to go, not backtracking. But from the outside, you really can't see this area, so... Yeah. Hello. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> I'm causing all sorts of havoc without even meaning to. Can I take this? Yeah, I'm a porch pirate now. That. I'm doing this because I feel like it, not because I think this will actually do anything. <laughs> Alright, onward and upward. Ah, that's where that would have led. Okay. Now we're back on track. Yeah. Let's see where this takes us. Looks like it wants me to go this way. Can I get in the van? Ah! Whoa! That... <laughs> that lady just doesn't care! Like, absolutely does not care that I'm here. Just completely just gave me the cold shoulder. Hi? Hi? Looks like he wants to beat me up or something. I haven't even gotten up to mischief yet. Ah, get into the pub. Oh, it's a pub. That's why he's trying to, like, break dartboard, get the toy boat, make the old man fall, be awarded a flower, <laughs> steal a pint glass, and drop it in the canal, set the table. Right, what's this over here? Ah... It all comes back together again once you go the correct direction. Great. Okay, now it feels like I'm kind of back on track. So, like, what's the deal over here? Is this not a zone, then? I don't know, it just kind of feels like a lot of dead air to suddenly... Um? Yeah, I guess that's it. I don't know, it just seems like a lot of area going to waste for it not to be another area, but I guess the pub is the next zone, then. Um. All right, let's try the brute force route. Whoop, that does not work. Mate, just want a pint. <laughs> hmm. So what I need to do is think a little bit harder about what it is I'm doing. Hmm. Now I'm a cat. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that would work, but yes, apparently I'm solid snaking it. Or not? <laughs> I already blew it. I didn't see her coming, so she's gonna throw me out, right? Okay, I understand how this puzzle is executed now, though I don't know where that lady goes when I'm not looking at her. She's pretending to be all casual, but she knows I'm up to shenanigans. What if I ask nicely? No? 
All right. Ah. Okay. There we go. Now I just need to be patient and not push any buttons. It seems like I do cause most of my own issues in this game, but I mean, this is literally a game where you're just trying to be the biggest pain in the neck you can manage to be. Waterfowl in real life are, are actually pretty terrible. Like, they'll mess you up just because they feel like it. They're actually very aggro. Their beaks are actually terrifying. They're not smooth like you might expect. They're actually, several of them are actually barbed. Not like externally, but like internally. They have like this, these really jaggedy internal beaks. Like, look up a picture of it online. It's terrifying. Okay, here she comes. Okay, I don't push anything. This should be fine. <laughs> I guess that really offended her sensibilities that I shut the door. All right. A little bit of self-control goes a long way. And that does explain why she was taking so long to get back. Man, she had a long ways to go. But I guess she has no choice, so... Okay, now go away. Time to get to work. Break dartboard, get toy boat, make old man fall on bomb, be awarded a flower, steal a pint and drop it, set the table. Is this the table I'm setting? <laughs> Got a little lady in the tramp here. No, oh, looks like it might be. No, <laughs> it took so long, the speedrunning bell's are already going off. What is this? Is it just a barrel? Or a bucket? Hmm. That's interesting. What's on the other side? It means wherever I go next is going to kind of link back around here. Alright, let's get to exploring. Oh, I'm under the deck. can't see me. I'm invisible. Oh, I really am. All right. <laughs> oh, shoot. I thought I could go that way. I guess I have to go back down and go back under again. Can't catch me. Boop, 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 and all that. Fork. So then I need the knife, the pepper, and a candle. Seems legit. So I guess if I were to get caught here, well, you could say my goose is cooked. Uh, that was terrible. I make no apologies, though. I'm just going to casually waddle my happy butt over here. Yoink. That. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want this. And that should distract her and get her out of my way. Wait, how did you notice the knife? I wasn't visible from you. Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe she saw the shell from a distance and realized the knife was gone, but didn't know where. Alright. I saw the pepper back on that deck. Yeah, right there. Did I just need that and the candle? Pretty easy to stay out of sight here, thanks to that table. Or the fact that you can walk under the table. 
at all. Whoops. <laughs> so much for stealth. I'm not great at stealth games. When I played Bokdai, I always got Bishop because I always wanted to destroy all the monsters instead of running from them. Candle. I haven't seen a candle, have I? Let's explore around. Ah, she's still at it. Look at her go. That's an industrious sense of work ethic, and I respect that. Mm. Hey, lady. I need a candle. You got one? I'm not seeing a candle around here. Ashtray, sure, but... Candle. Ah, candle. There we go. Perfect. We got the difficult one out of the way early. Oh, gosh. This is so big I can't get under there. I'm gonna have to run. No! Oh, protect me, lady! <laughs> the candle is too big! No! Leave me alone! No bully! No bully goose! Ah, uh, I didn't think the candle would be too big for me to walk under there again. Whoops. I didn't think- I thought he would give up a little faster than that. No, I live down here now. This is my house. You have to leave. Ah, the waitress must have grabbed the candle. Okay, I have to plan plan my, my course a little bit smarter this time. Like, I can't... I can't afford to go that close to the front of the restaurant or that guy's just going to harass me. But lesson learned. We can employ some of the tactics I've been using up to this point. Oh, come on. I was going to go that way. You're in the way, lady. I know you're just trying to run your business, and, and I respect that, but... I mean, I'm trying to do my job, too. And my job is to be a huge problem for everyone. Okay. That should distract her. Stay away from him. Crud. The entire point was for that to distract her, not for her to see me immediately. The stairs slowed her down a little bit. If I can get under here, I think I'm good. Woo! <laughs> Boom. A my romantic rendezvous is set. Oh, I'm playing in single player mode, so at present, I do not have anyone to rendezvous with. I think, the old, I think the old man one is pretty easy. I think I saw him. All right. Uh, all right, I am a goose, and therefore cannot open doors. No thumb and all that. Okay, time to go make myself acquainted with the locals. Hey, 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 you just bumped into me, dude. Hi. I was going to go for the direct approach, but I wasn't expecting him to turn at that particular angle. What? I'm just... I'm just dumb bird. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> Wait, did that not count? I did make him fall on his bum! That's not cool. Why didn't that count? Maybe because, like, the animation didn't play all the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm not interested in you, old man. I'm looking at the nice delivery lady. Dang it. Oh well, I can get him back up again. I was trying to grab the harmonica from him, but... I'm supposed to break the dartboard somehow, too. I wonder how I go about doing that. Uh, I feel that. I'm an old man, too. Old old man snack. Oh, he plays darts, too. Maybe if I watch his pattern here for a second, I can figure out how to break it. Ah, I was trying to spook him. Hello. Man, your, your concentration is ironclad. You have my respect, sir. I'm not doing anything. Why would I be doing something? Ah! 
Just walk into me like I'm not even here. Okay, thank you. And I'll just casually walk away like I had nothing to do with that. Hey, I was trying to play the game. That was rude. Oh, are you showing me how to play? Ah, you missed. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. I'll play red, okay? And... Huh. See? I did it. I'm better at the game than you are. Break the dartboard. How do I go about doing that? It's a bit out of my reach. Yeah, you should play darts. Is there anything I have? Anything I can, like, throw at it? Oh. <clears throat> I think she prompted me. Oh, she's telling me to bow. <laughs> For once, I'm not being a complete jerk. Yay! <laughs> I actually entertained someone instead of harassing them. I wish I could take this with me. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I mean, I didn't even mean to do that, but that was pretty entertaining. Let's see a pint glass and drop it in the canal. I will do that last. Um, break? I don't know. I'm really curious about how I do this. Why is it playing the intense music? He's just the old man's just looking at me. Do I just have to throw something at it? Hmm. Oh, you almost had it. Am I holding the point in my bill? Hey! tried. Break the dartboard, huh? Ah, coming through. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna set this here. Too close to the front. That in mind. I'm just trying to walk past. I don't see a toy boat either. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, hey, what? I didn't do anything to you. For once. Toy boat. Toy boat. Hmm. Important to explore one's environment. Mop. <laughs> I did that just to be a jerk. Because why not, really? Okay. I have to what, break the dartboard, get the toy boat, and steal a pint glass. Oh, that's probably one of the pint glasses right there. 
once I get far enough away from her. What? Never seen a goose with a pint glass in its beak? Beak or bill or... I don't know specifically what you call it. I have to confess my ignorance on a deeper waterfowl biology. Mm, the guard's gonna be there, though. That's not gonna be great. Yeah, that's definitely what I thought. Yeah, I'm gonna tuck this down here for now. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I did that to be antagonistic. Bye. Now, let me think. Wait, what was that? A bucket. That seems strategically placed. Hmm. Okay, so the pint glass I have to get in one go. If it falls out of my mouth, it's gonna break. <laughs> they enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Um, that's for breaking this thing. to figure out a way to do that. I thought maybe I could, like, walk on this little gutter thing, but I cannot. And I still haven't seen a toy boat. Mm. Alright, chase me for a second. Okay, does this go to the other side? does. So I do have some safe paths to take. Okay, I have a pretty good idea of how I can get the, the pint glass out. But it's going to be taking advantage of these little tunnels. Excuse me. That's mine now. Okay, that worked out about as well as I hoped. And drop it in the canal. Easy peasy. Whoops. Drop myself in the canal. That's fine. I can get back up as I'm going around. Okay. Thankfully, as a water bird fowl, you know, I, I'm just good at swimming. Uh, now I have to figure out this whole toy boat and dartboard situation. And I know you guys at home are screaming the solution at your monitor, but spoiler alert, I can't hear it, so... You're just gonna have to bear with my idiocy a little bit longer. Anyway, I need to back in, so I'm gonna have my personal escort service carry me back in. That... that came out wrong. That definitely came out wrong. But I do understand why it took her so long to do the rotation now. She goes all the way back there. I'll fast forward this bit. Okay, I know that bit was fast-forwarded for you guys, but I noticed something while I was being carried, and it might be one of the solutions I need. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh no, it starts draining. Got a distractor. Alright, alright. Quit doing that and pay attention to the pouring liquid coming out of that barrel. Ah, no, that was way too fast. Let her chase me deliberately, it's fine. Hey, you did that to yourself. You're not getting that cork back now, I hope you know. <laughs> New to-do item on your list. Drop a bucket on the burly man's head. Oh, that bucket was strategically placed. But I still really want to break that dartboard. Which one's the burly man? The guy who's, like, hustling me when I go near the front door? Alright, I'll let you sort that out. I definitely see the bucket. I'm just curious as to how I'm supposed to use it. I would need to get him, like, over near those, uh, tomato boxes. I wonder how I'm supposed to do that. Oh, something is changing. Okay, lady, what you got in mind? to see a uh, clear and consistent logic here. Yeah, I'm not over there, guy. <laughs> ah. The machination is in motion. Excuse me. Wow, she did not even flinch. I was afraid she'd start chasing me, but she isn't. Okay, it's cool that you're showing me where she's going, but I need to see the other guy, actually. I could at least open the door for the poor lady with her hands full. Oh, she actually figured out where that all was. That's amusing. Hey, big guy, you coming or what? I thought you were to the point where you wanted a nice, fresh tomato. Excuse me. Oh, that was great. Way to bounce me back like a pinball. Maybe I got too far away from him. Why do you care about the candle? 
Oh, I get it. You either like her, or that's your wife up there. So me bothering her is why you're so mad at me. Honk. That's weird. The dude was looking at the tomato box and then suddenly lost interest. That was a little odd. <laughs> I don't know why she diverted completely off course just to look. Well, maybe I can... Okay, you're thinking about the right thing now. And... Okay, dude, you're making this a little harder than I feel it needs to be. Alright, dang I got their attention good and proper now. Wow, I got, like, everyone going on over here. Okay, something's happening. I don't care whose head this is going on, it's going on someone's head. Why? Uh, you guys ruin everything. They noticed the table setting, and then they completely got sidetracked. I hate you. I think this is the first time that the AI has actually kind of like fundamentally undermined one of my missions. Okay, if you want the stupid place setting undone, I'll just do it myself. <sighs> Guys are so stupid. <laughs> Here, take a stupid plate. <sighs> Come on, guys. Why did they prioritize that higher than, like, look, doing the thing I need them to do? And they're all gonna get in the way of the poor delivery girl who just has this infinite Mobius strip van to work with full of just boxes. Well, I tried. You know, I'm going to cut ahead until, uh, until I figure this out. This is a little embarrassing now. This is the least amount of fun I've had in this entire game. Finally! Oh my god, that was not fun. Just everything about the way the AI works was just fighting me tooth and nail. This should be the pinnacle of physical comedy, and it absolutely was not, because of what a nightmare it was to set that up. Like, oh man, that one mission dropped this game's rank by like a full letter grade in my estimation, I'll be honest. That was just like super not fun. And now I get to wait for Tomato Butt to hurry up and finish so I can go. Hey. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs>
Now, forget the harmonica, come here. Okay, you're not listening. Yeah, you're not getting this back. Yeah, sucks to be you. Whatever, I'm out. So what did that do? Oh, the dumpster lid is open. So now I can go over here. Okay. There's that, I guess. I want to break the dartboard. Ah, let me out. Thanks. Okay, if that is harmonica, he ought to do something else. Hey, you know what might be neat? Throwing something at that dartboard. Yeah, play darts. Darts is good. <laughs> okay, that made me feel better. All right. Hopefully the next area is better. That was actually kind of a colossal pain to play through. So is this another door to before? It is. But it's locked. That's interesting. It's the first time I've encountered something like that. So, what's the deal here? What the? Looks like a miniature of the park I started the game in. Get into the model village? Steal the beautiful miniature golden bell. Yep, so this is the farmer's garden. And this was the street that I terrorized. And I went through here. Whoops. And I say whoops, but I don't actually care. These are the two neighbors I harassed. And over here would be the pub. If I can get my neck under that little arch. And there's a miniature of the miniature inside the miniature. That, that is great. I love that. Ah, that's the golden bell they were talking about. Just take it? Take it where? Or do I just have to get it down? What's that? Oh, I'm pecking at it. I'll show you on who's on top of the pecking order now. Oh, I'm just gonna break this thing down like I'm playing... Like I'm just playing Demolition Derby. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna take this whole thing down! Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh! Primitive catharsis achieved. My bell now. Is that it? And take it all the way back home! Oh no! <laughs> I think that means I'm on a timer. Or at least I'm gonna get like everyone's attention because I'm literally holding a bell in my bill. Or beak. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be making so much noise on my way out. Look, the game's reminding me of everything I have to go through now. I mean, I can take the water away for a good leg of it. Uh, but not all the way. Nope, not all the way. <laughs> my honk, it rings the bell. Oh no, that's still locked. No shortcut. How do I unlock it? I, don't, I haven't seen a key or anything. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make such a fuss when I go through here. It's 
stealth ain't nothing. At this point, there's no choice but to just, like, make a leg for it. Hey, it's made a butt. I'm over here. Well, he was up there. I can just leg, leg it. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm gonna have the whole town after me. No! Mine! It's mine! I stole this fair and square! No, they bricked it over! I thought I had an easy escape route! Oh no! They blocked everything off! Okay, I still have the shortcut. I can still go... Oh no! They padlocked everything! I don't have any shortcuts anymore! This is the worst case scenario! <laughs> Wait, if I walk, I don't ring. Oh no, but she saw it anyway! No! You absolutely cannot do this to me now! Mine! Oh no! <laughs> Everything is wrong! Everything is ruined! I need... Excuse me, I don't break this again. Excuse me, I have places to be, people to see, things to do, mostly things to destroy. You patched your fence. Why did you do that now of all times? Okay, you know what? We cool? Oh, God, we not cool. We not cool. Oh, good, the gate's open. <laughs> this has gotten so much more, like, hectic. Wait, maybe if I stop ringing for a second, like, show a little goosey composure, maybe I can make my escape. Oh, you know what? I just remembered, like, at the very start of the game, there's that pit just full of bells. So this is, like, the 10th or 12th bell that I've pilfered from that little miniature site. That implies that I've done this, like, hundreds and hundreds of times over. Oh, no, I thought you'd be in your shop. Why are you out of it the one time I need you not to be? Oh, no, that wasn't the lady who was in the shop. That was, uh... Oh, you got your broom back. Congrats. Though that makes my life a little bit harder as a result. Mine. Okay, nuts to it. Full speed ahead. Oh, gosh, you are faster than I figured you would be. Out of the way, kiddo! Good, he's so afraid when I honk. Hey! That is mine! You, I stole that fair and square, you cannot have it! Uh, if she chases me into the next zone, the farmer's gonna know immediately where I am. Or the farmer, the, the gardener. Oh! We have reached an impasse, you and I. Yes, we have. You see, Mr. Farmer, I know what's valuable to you. And that. And some of this. You see, it was all a ruse. The entire setup for this entire game was that I could steal your cooler! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing with ya. Freedom! If I get to the water, I win! Farewell, stupid humans. Oh, there's that glass. <laughs> the glass I stole half an hour ago. Ah, I have to go around the land route. That's okay, I think I'm past all the people now, so unless they... You know, get one last mad dash at me. I think I'm pretty much golden. You know what? I'm gonna ring in celebration. Oh. That's gonna put a damper on my escape route. Let's see. I thought this is the way I came from. Is the water out? 
Um, it doesn't seem like it's accessible. Oh, I can actually go quickly on the water without ringing. Maybe it's over on this side. Yeah, there we go. This is where I entered the stage from. Okay, th this makes up for that one mission. Flat. Take it all the way back home. <laughs> oh, I was wondering if I could just like start walking through the rest of the game while the credits rolled, but. <laughs> I have caused so much trouble. Oh, he's the groundskeeper. I've been calling him a goose as the goose. Nice. <laughs> she never could find that cork again, I guess. Those puzzles reset because I had turned the game off, so I guess he gets his stuff back. Okay, overall. Very good, very entertaining game. I understand why it got the reputation it did. It was a lot of fun. But I'm gonna be honest, the pub was a little bit cryptic. Break the dartboard is one of those things where you just kind of had to guess at the solution, which just happened to work in my favor. Uh, and then the, the tomato, like the, throwing the, the, the bucket on the burly man's head that was such a pain to set up. That literally took me like 30 minutes of finagling with the AI to try to get it to the point where I could actually set it up. And it actually didn't work, like twice. It was actually the third time I threw that bucket down while he was crouched at the box that it actually worked. So I think there's a bug there or something, or I just had like really super terrible luck with it. Just like, I think if they, they patched the pub segment, I think it would be a lot better, because that, that one mission was just so colossally unfun compared to everything else in the game, which is fantastic. What? Oh! Oh! To do as well. Trap the boy in the garage, catch an object and thrown over the fence. To do quickly, reset to get this a go before the church bell rings. Cross out everything. Um, I'm gonna save this for next time. This will be the end of today's episode because that was a credit roll condition and I'll, I'll own that. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want to see me do the as wells. It does look like it'd be pretty entertaining. Now, I'm not gonna do the quickly. Um... I don't speedrun, just, I, I'm not good enough to do it. Um, but let me know if you guys would like to see the as well conditions, and uh, we'll see if we won't make an episode three. If not, we'll just conclude the series here. So, thanks for joining, and this has been Untitled Goose Game. Uh -huh.